If you have any information pertaining to this case, you may contact the Greater Manchester Police Call Case Review Unit at 0161 856 5961. If you wish to remain anonymous, you can also contact Crime Stoppers at 0800-555-111. If you don't wish to make a phone call, you can also contact Crime Stoppers using the link on screen or in the description. You may also contact the UK Missing Persons Unit with your information using the link on screen or in the description. On the afternoon of the 25th of January 2010, skeletal remains were found wrapped in carpet and jammed between a one metre gap between the wall of a building and a fence in an unused car park in Angel Meadow, Manchester, England. At the time, the car park was being redeveloped, having last been used in the 1960s, and the workmen were the ones who discovered the remains after first noticing a skull. The police were called at 3.50pm to retrieve the remains. The medical examiner determined that the remains belonged to a female, and shortly before her death she had suffered a fractured neck, clavicle, nose and jaw, leading the authorities to believe that she had been beaten to death. It was also discovered that she could have been dead for up to 40 years before being found, most likely being killed somewhere between 1975 and 1988. The woman is thought to have been either European, Indian or Middle Eastern and was between 16 and 35 years old at the time of her death. She stood between 5 feet and 5 feet 7 inches tall. She was a modern day size 12 and she had multiple fillings and was missing her first upper right premolar antimortem. She was found wearing only a blue bra and a blue jumper. Found near her body was a green 1970s style pinafore dress with an unusual pattern and large buttons, which had tears in it, suggesting it may have been forcibly removed, along with a broken high-heeled black stiletto, a pair of tights, torn remnants of underwear, a handbag and a plastic in its measuring chart dating from the 1960s. Her body was wrapped and concealed inside a patterned orange carpet, a dark blue carpet, and a lighter blue carpet. Some of the carpet found at the scene had been partially burnt. It is believed that one of the blue carpets found with her body was cut out of a Ford Cortina car. That particular type of car was built from 1962 to 1982, and it was the most popular car in the 1970s in Britain. Another one of the carpets may have been made to fit a flight of stairs. Since the deceased woman was found naked from the hips down, it is thought she may have been sexually assaulted. Following her discovery, missing persons reports were checked thoroughly, but a match to the deceased woman could not be found. The case was featured on BBC's Crime Watch in February 2010, which generated a substantial amount of new leads but none of them proved successful in determining the identity of the deceased woman. In May 2011, two facial reconstructions of the woman were released in hopes that somebody may recognise her. The facial reconstructions were featured on Crime Watch, which led to even more tips. Two convicted murderers active at the time of the woman's murder, namely Peter Tobin and Ronald Castry, were ruled out by DNA evidence, meaning that she was not a victim of either. In November 2012, it was announced that the police had compiled a list of 22 possible identities for the woman. They said that the most promising lead came from a Tanzanian family, who believed the woman may have been a missing relative of theirs. Police were trying to obtain DNA samples from the family, but stated that they were finding it difficult to collaborate with the Tanzanian authorities. This lead was mentioned again in 2014 and 2015, and since then there has been no further follow-up. In March 2015, five years after the discovery of her remains, the unidentified woman was finally laid to rest in an unmarked grave in Seventh Cemetery, Manchester, her funeral only attended by two police detectives. It was also announced in March 2015 that detectives were working with familial DNA in an attempt to identify her. Four years later, there have been no updates concerning this DNA testing. Carbon-14 testing has been performed on her teeth, 
the test determined that she was most likely born between 1950 and 1954. It's been almost ten years since this woman's body was found, and decades since she was brutally murdered, and she remains unidentified. Multiple missing people have been officially ruled out as being these decedents. Please check the description for a list of these rollouts. If you have any information that may even the identification of this woman and or her killer, check the beginning of this video again for the appropriate agencies for you to contact.